It is a welterweight showdown between Colby Chaos Covington and UFC President Dana White. Ah, yes, the sweet science. This guy could have been a professional boxer, probably a world champion if he so chose. He loves the MMA game, but his boxing is certainly his bread and butter. I mean, a guy that was on par to make an Olympic team, and that is in one specific skill set. When you reach that level, when you're winning the national championship, and you're about to go to the Olympics, but you choose a different avenue. Yeah. You decide you want to fight mixed martial arts. It's truly something special. He has the most educated jab I have ever seen in the octagon. He throws the jab. It always comes back to the face. It never goes to the hip. And if you rush him, if you rush him, he has an ability to switch dancers from conventional to southpaw and land a great counter right hand that will put your lights up. Better jab than your guy, Rosendo Sanchez. Oh, it's no? unbelievable. He puts Rosendo Sanchez to shame. All right, so here's the former UFC interim welterweight champion, Colby Covington, and whether he's banging on the Brazilians or going at fans on Twitter, there's a lot that encompasses this total package of Colby Covington. He's a hell of a fighter, though. But ultimately, it's about the fighting, and the fighting ability is what has carried Colby to such a great start in his UFC career. A former champion, a guy that's been in there with the very best of the division, and when he's been in there, he's been able to get his hand raised. I always go back to the Rafael Dos Anjos fight, and I watch Colby put a pace on him that Dos Anjos, who is also known for his cardio, could not keep. It was inspiring to watch, and if you know Colby before fighting, you know that he trains as hard as anybody in the world to try to accomplish his goals. Our tale of the tape for this highly anticipated welterweight fight. Well, how about the age discrepancy here? More than 15 years apart, and they both possess the same height and a similar reach. And once again, Ladies here is the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buck. event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live! from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, USA, Dana White. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 16 wins, 2 losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, Kobe Chaos Covington. You can give me your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. So here we are in Las Vegas, Nevada, inside the T-Mobile Arena. This has become the UFC's home base here in Vegas since 2016, and you competed on that inaugural night. UFC 200 was a big one. I got to stand across the octagon from one of the greatest fighters of all time, Anderson Silva, but the roof was blown off at UFC 200. So many stars and legends competed on that night. I'm glad I was able to stand. Hey, you get to make your mark on this great arena. Trying to control posture, unable to do And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab or he's going to get blasted. These are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. Efficiency with which he operates in these cities. Exactly when the throw, exactly when the hold. And it's allowing him to riddle the grappling for the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him. Know when, when to hold him. Oh, back down. down. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. 
Nice kick landed by this gentleman. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good strike. Throws every accurate. It's here. Punch coming. Looking to land the right hand, he misses. Upper. Oh, nice right hand. Three. Ooh, pucks the shot. And he connects with a punch that came from. Box, boxing, boxing. Now we're going. With his back, nice offense. On the belly, be troubled defensively. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Just over two minutes, round one. Continues to attack here. We'll see if he can set up the arm bar. Gotta be careful, arm bar. He might get a finish here. Now he falls back into the finishing position. So the he tap comes shortly thereafter. He got the arm straight, right? The moment he was able to break John, his opponent was in trouble. Hip pressure on it had to tap. And he lives to fight another day, but a huge win for his opponent by submission tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He does a great job of staying patient. He doesn't rush or panic. You are never safe when you're fighting this guy. You're in a lot of trouble. You're in a lot of trouble the entire time when you're this good in the submissions. So there he is, winner by submission tonight, and that is how you put the rest of the division on. A huge result for him here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest. Minutes, 31 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out. Kobe Chaos Covington! Well, the celebration is on in his corner, and hard to blame these guys, sort of waiting to exhale, get a huge win tonight, and not just the win, but they get it by submission. They knew what they had in front of them. They knew how tough a competitor his opponent was, but they also knew that if they could get this fight to the ground, they could find a submission. They found a submission. He got his hand raised in the way that he loves the most.